someone's asking about your opinion about everything that happened when they stopped putting lead in gasoline back in, what is that, the 70s, right? Or yeah, lead is oil, lead graphite. It just left the oil on the gas. So, so it's now a, we got dra dry gas. There's a lubricant. Lubricant, sure, yeah. Yeah. Right away we started losing valve guards and everything else. Do you remember that? Of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everything came apart. So did your strategy on building an engine change a lot at that point? Well, we just changed lubrications. So did your strategy on building an engine change a lot at that point? Well, we just changed lubrications. Okay. And you had to. Yeah. Change all kinds of things and, and build motors and anything that touched one another, you had to lubricate it. Especially, and then we, that was years ago, and we didn't have much problem with it. Okay. I don't think so, besides valve guides. But they thought the valve... Now seats, burn the seats, the hard seats, hard seats, hard seats. Right. And I personally, well, Chrysler used to have hard seats. You couldn't grind them. They take a special white stone, and you grind the valve seats to take a little bit off it. with sparks going everywhere. On the, so hard the seats. On all the Mopar engines. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All, on the exhaust seats. That's the first exhaust seats we had. Oh. They were hard. Yeah. But then end up the guides wore out with the gas. Yeah. Okay. So that gas. The guide went up and down the valve and seated here and seated here and seated here, the guide. So now the valve's moving all over yeah, the place. Yeah, it's moving everywhere like I'm going down a funnel. <laughs> right. Pretty soon it had to wore the head out. So you take it apart and the valve sunk down the cylinder and had a quarter of an inch. Oh, my goodness. It still ran. That's how much it eat them. But it was a guide problem. 